Hey, uh, baby, take this, wipe the lipstick off, slide over here next to me, and let's get started. We have started and finished, Buster. And now for an encore, get an earful of the following. I'll admit you're a very sharp-looking guy, and you certainly have that proverbial gift of gab. And the only reason I've gone this far, I think, is because when you meet someone who's like nothing you've ever met before, your curiosity gets stirred up. Well, mister, this is one kitten that won't be smitten by that little old devil. So you can just turn this car right around and take me right back where you picked me up. That is where we met. I said wipe the lipstick off. Was it something I said? You must be deranged. Yeah, if you don't believe in idle chatter and a lot of small talk, yeah, I'm deranged. Or would you prefer that I conduct myself like the little boys you're accustomed to dating? Now, you know darn well that nothing delights us more than being enjoyed, appreciated, or just plain liked by someone, right? Well, you're not gonna tell me. But you're here with me now because I don't appeal to you. And I'm sure that you can see I dig you pretty good too, right? Well, isn't it easier to say so? Or would you much prefer that I used a lot of that phony dialogue I'm sure you've heard at least a half a dozen times before? So you see, Stell, when I tell you that you're a vibrant, beautiful, exciting woman, you can believe me. You can bet us the truth. Because I have to be a complete idiot not to want to hold you and kiss you and make our time together a warm, wonderful moment that could grow and develop into many moments, many hours, and into something really important. Nobody ever said anything like that to me before. Nor can I ever remember a more honest approach to two people being together. Well, that's what I've been trying to get you to understand. 